When modifying a vehicle, one of the aspects that should be taken into account is your cooling system. Take a car like this, it's a 1971 model car, 2000 model engine. They've put a 2000 model radiator and thermofans in it. Now something to consider is that you've got dual thermofans. You've got one here and one here. You want to really turn one thermofan on just above operating temperature and the other fan should come in around about four to five degrees after that. That saves electrical load on the system. You're not implementing two thermofans at once. And it also allows you to bring the second thermofan in when the air conditioning is applied. Something else to keep in mind with cooling systems is if you've got an air conditioning condenser that sits in front of the radiator, you're restricting airflow past the radiator. But then if you've got an intercooler of some kind in front of that, you're restricting airflow past all of that. So keep this in mind and always try and keep nice air clearance, um, allow air in and out past radiators, past intercoolers. Something else to keep in mind too with your cooling system is that you're obviously going to need to dyno tune it. Doing something like this, you'll want to get the maximum out of it. Make sure that the condition of all the pipes, hose clamps, and that is up to uh, scratch and is not something that's second hand that's going to blow out or fly apart when it's on the dyno.